What's up, peoples? Hope you guys are having a good Friday. My week's almost done. Been a good week. Been a tough week. As ever, week it should be a tough week. Got an opportunity. Got an opportunity to talk to my school yesterday. I had to reach high school, which is great. I loved it. So, get an opportunity to give back to my fellow wrestlers for more of their HP. But, it was a good time. I always got to give back to the kids. It's what matters. fishing again. Uh, hopefully this weekend. And I gotta do a signing at uh, the shoe store warehouse or warehouse shoe store uh, in Corona on Saturday from 12 to 2 so you guys are in Corona. Come on down get an autograph. We're selling tickets to the fight. Just get back community. You know I always go out and do signings to all my fans so we're going out to Corona to the WSS shoe store. We're selling tickets for the fight and just do a little grill up marketing for this fight. So, I'm always going to do everything, man. Canada, so excited. Ciao. Taco Truck Shaw, what's up? Huh. I told you guys two people just gotta kill him. That was a good fight. Sasha! Cheers to you, brother. Chuck actually looks like he's in shape. I'm happy. Hopefully he's in the best shape he possibly can be. Comes to fight, I'm ready for war, so let's hope he's in shape. I should even hope. I think he's in shape. What's gonna be different about the third time? A lot's gonna be different. Everything's in my corner. Faster, younger, smarter, quicker. Faster response. <laughs> Uh, that does sound like I'm an airplane. I'm actually in a uh, CVAC altitude simulation machine for recovery. I come and do the session um, three times a week. I do my high bear chamber three times a week, so I do both. I have a high bear chamber in my house, and I have this actually a scent adaptation in uh, Newport Beach, so. I might book to get some great sessions in. Ooh, makes you lightheaded when you're this high. I'm at 22,000 feet right now. Kind of makes you a little dizzy. Hard for concentration. Really, really hard to concentrate. Ooh. At this high altitude, it's like kind of difficult to put a conversation or put a sentence together and think of ideas. It is very difficult. I don't know if you guys got an opportunity to see uh, what's the Tim Kennedy show? Um, Life or Death. When he goes out and he does the jobs that most of people don't do. Like jet fighters and so forth like that. But it was one of those jet fighters. <laughs> they put him in a uh, pod where they're 25,000 feet. And they're trying to put squares into circles, circles into squares and so forth. And they show how hard it truly is, and that's the same feeling I get up being this high in altitude. As you can see, watch, watch this drop. This drop is going from 22,000 feet. That is that went from 22,000 feet down to 2,000 feet in about two seconds. And you can see it building back up to the altitude. 
So it says current altitude on the right side. Then it drops. Then it goes back up. And then it drops. So it's ranging the altitude in there. See how it goes up to six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it drops. So the altitude changes like that. It goes through variations. It goes through different heights, different altitudes. It, uh, it takes a lot of gas out of my muscles, re uh, rebuild red blood cells and so forth. So most of you guys know about this. You guys know that I've been doing this for a while. Yeah, my ears do pop. I got out of the bike. As you're in an airplane, you descent. Actually, I got to do the same thing too. Actually, when I came in here, uh, Chris Cyborg was here and she just left. She's got to go through sessions. So we all do our sessions here. It's a uh, ascent at vacation in uh, Newport Beach, so it works well. Nope, I don't train a big bear because I'm here. I don't need to. I get all my altitude training here, which is really, really, really good. And I do uh, decompression training also, where it stuffs. Uh, oxygen into my red blood cells in um, depth or in pressure and that's why I had rare chamber half miles so I'm in my blood at all stages multiplying my recovery like no other it helps how's the training so able to train hard each and every day so, three times a day what's my drive at this point um, my drive is to beat Chuck Liddell Guy that I thought that I could smash the whole time, and he got the better of me. And I admit it, yeah. First one, he poked me in the eye, and he made the flurry of 20 punches. Four of those punches got in, and he finished the fight, which is man, good to him. He was a better fighter that night. The second time, he caught me a couple shots and dropped me, but I recovered, and he was punching off my forearms, and the referee stopped it for punching off my forearms, which I never did that before. But. You know, Dana had something to do with it, just as he did when I beat Forrest and he ran after Forrest saying, get back in the cage, because you won the fight. How in the hell did Dana know that? It was all bullshit, but that's behind me. I hear something new. Here's something that I get an opportunity to do it on my own terms, and I get to make a shitload of money out of it. And I get the punch truck in his face, so I'm happy. I'm excited. Oh yeah, you guys check out my shirt. So this is a real American shirt right here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man right there. <laughs> That's an in and out burger shirt right here, baby. America. Merc. <laughs> I like to bust people's balls because my opinion. My opinion don't matter to anybody but me and my children. Yes. I have a good chin. Or is this something you're born with? I know I think I have a good chin because I have such a damn big head. I mean how big my head is. My head is so damn big. I've always had a big head, though. Me and Ray Kid people told me I had a big head. I always ask my mom, I go, Mom, how come I have a big head? She goes, because you're smart, son, because you're smart. So, thanks, Mom, for supporting me. All right, guys, what are you guys doing on a Friday? Most of you guys are probably working. Uh, I do use CBD as my uh, recovery. Amber rubs on me every night.
Yeah, I think we're gonna go fishing this weekend. Um, my guys might just want to go rock fishing. They just want to go catch a fish. I may chase the yellow or the blue fin if they're around, but you know that's slow pickings. But the guys haven't taken fish and they want to catch fish, so. Yes, that is what she said. But they want to catch fish, so I'm gonna go take them to my little secret spot. Rockfish is open. I'm gonna go take a look uh, at some secret rockfish spots. I'm trying to go get them. It's gonna cost anything for tomorrow at Corona. I am not sure. I couldn't tell you that answer. Sorry. Peace. Thank you, brother. Appreciate your support. Yeah, we're gonna try to go hook some monsters. Monsters! I don't know, I'm gonna go check the guys, uh, go fish for lean cod and sheephead. And I got a killer sheep out of the spot where it's like wide open, 15 pound sheephead and 20 pound, 15 pound lean cod. So I'm gonna take the guys and just go lock, um, cod fishing. And if we see any bluefin on the way, we'll fish them. But I'm gonna take my boys and just go fish, catch them. To the wild, creeping and crawling, nigga, yes, y'all went stoop doggy dog. Hmm. So, what's up, guys? I want to bring some people in here. Let's bring some, Let's get some questions. Who do we got? Let's see. I have to put the clone this, this phone this close to my face to see. Um, Benji. Ah, oh, he was having a good joint. Who was the first person to sponsor me? It was actually, uh... <laughs> it was a porno company, and it was Rob Black from Extreme Associates. They gave me, was it five grand to say I just fucked his ass on the back. <laughs> and I was like, sure, I probably should have put it up on it. And I put it, and I got paid for it, and that was the beginning. Trying to be tomorrow from uh, 12 to 2. Avila! What's up, brother? How you doing, brother? Hold on, this thing is like. Can you hear me I can barely hear you. Can you hear me now? How about now? Can I can barely me? hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> barely. Let me see. How about now? No. no. Shit, no. it's like really low. Hey, dude, just want to say, you know, good luck. Hope you whoop his ass. Freaking, uh, I keep texting you. I was like, hey, you should come back old school Tito D with that first Limp Biscuit song. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm bringing out break stuff. I'm bringing it. I'm doing it. Hell yeah. That's sure. badass. Yes, sir. I think hit you a couple times. Dude, come out old school. Come out old school. Come out old school. But that's, gonna, I just asked that question, dude. So, yep, I'm going to do it. But right on, man. Been a big, uh, been a big fan for a long time, dude. So I always miss you. you're always around here somewhere. I'm in Marietta right now, but you're always at Pachanga or doing something. I always missed you. I always, I always want to get a picture of you. So, but uh, I just want to say good luck and whoop his uh, ass, dude. Thank you, Team man. punishment you all the way. 
Thank you, brother. If you can make it by uh, Corona tomorrow at uh, Warehouse Shoe Store, I'm, um, I'm actually doing a signing from 12 until 2 o'clock. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, yeah I saw that Corona. I did see that Corona. Someone said something about Corona. I didn't know what was. I, I didn't know about that until you just said it right now. So, shit, I'm like right down the street. Out. So, like 15, 20 minutes. Check it out. I'll be there tomorrow. Right on, brother. Hey, thanks for putting me on, dude. All right, cool, man. Have a good day. All right, brother. You too. Good luck. Right on. Thank you. That's what it's about. Get back to the fans. Are you guys able to hear me right? Because my earphones uh, might be that. Maybe the connection. I turn the shit up. Gracias, su pollo, Texas. Gracias. All right, cool. Drop right here. Mm, so high. Uh, that was pretty cool yesterday. Um, on my Twitter, actually, the United States Army posted uh, thanks that gave to our troops. I thought it was really cool. The army reached out to that. Finally. Some great support from the United States Army. I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for everyone in the middle of the support our country. Go out and sacrifice, willing to sacrifice their life for our country. That's what it's truly about. True patriots. Hopefully, uh, the USO can bring back out to the sandbox, back to Iraq and Kuwait. And just to go see our brothers and sisters over there. It was important. Super important. The last time I went was in 2011, so it's about time to go back again. So, USO, if you're listening, make it happen. The men and women would love to see you out there. Bring them a little bit of home. Ah. All right, guys, my session's almost done here. Hope you guys have a great Friday. Hope I see you guys tomorrow um, that are in the Corona area. You can look at my uh, Instagram to find the date. Or excuse me, to find the address. I'll be there from 12 until 2 p.m., all right?